character, composed of half-truths and fantasy. Who, then, do you maintain murdered the victim? I believe Owen might know something about that. We're not saying he did it. I refuse to allow such impromptu testimony. All from a five-year-old, no less. Such a young child is incapable of producing anything coherent. The heart. But... Your desperation is disgraceful. You should realize when it is time to let go and move on. I, I saw it. Ooh. I saw Shisho get in. Owen. You do know something, don't you? Yeah. Oh my. Is this true? If so, we must have Owen testify immediately. Don't you agree, Prosecutor Sad Marty? Haha! -ha. It's alright, Owen. Go ahead and tell us what you know. Whew! Getting interesting. It's getting spicy. It's quite big for a five year old. I saw it. Shisho was standing with a knife in his hand. Blood was dripping onto Shisho's face. Oh, Shisho's face getting it all red. I couldn't move at all. I was so scared. I passed out. Oh! This is eyewitness testimony from the moment of the murder. Owen, can you tell us anything else about what you saw? I... <laughs> I was so scared. So, so scared. Poor kid. <laughs> Owen! His emotions are spiraling out of control. Something must have really frightened him. Is this going to be a heart testimony then? Is he alright? His emotions are running wild because he's trying to recall something frightening to him. I recommend a therapy session right away. I see. Yes, please do whatever you can to help the poor boy. Right, will do, Your Honor. I'd better find the cause of these out of control emotions pronto. Alright, so we need a probe. Let's do it! Oh damn. Shisho was standing with a knife in his hand. Oh, that was the buckwheat knife. Oh god. Blood was dripping onto Shisho's face, getting it all red. I would probably say it's this. It's kinda horrifying. Blood. I mean, that would be pretty... Horrifying for anybody, let alone a five-year-old. Yeah, blood was dripping down onto Shiso's face. Blood? I don't remember seeing any blood on the in the crime scene photos. And also that. Besides, if the victim was standing upright, how could blood drip down onto his face? As I expected, all we managed to obtain from this child's from this child is a tale he dreamt up. I guess it's a little weird for blood to drip onto the victim's face if he was standing up. Unless it dripped down from the ceiling or something. What do you think, Simon? I don't know. Owen's one confused and upset kid right now, so who knows how accurate his memory is. Maybe it's time for that thing instead. What? Huh? What thing? That thing that you and your cohorts do. What do you call it? Rotate your thinking about? Oh, turn your thinking around. Yes, whatever. It's the same thing either way. No, it isn't. Who's ever heard of rotating your thinking? I mean, rotate is... Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> what? You know what, Simon? In this case, I think rotate. Oh, just might work perfectly after all. Come again? All I have to do is rotate things by 90 degrees. When he saw his master, Owen must have been... Oh! He was on lying on the floor, I would guess. <laughs> Doing a handstand. Yeah! Lying on the floor. Oh, it must have been lying on the floor when he witnessed his master's murder. What? That's the conclusion I arrived at when I rotated my thinking by 90 degrees. Which means that all of the visuals in my matrix were off by 90 degrees. And? This means Master Tornado was also lying on the floor, which solves another mystery. And which mystery is that? The mystery of how blood could have been dripping onto the victim's face. It becomes much easier to, un to imagine how that could happen if he was lying down. Like someone bleeding onto Master Tornado from somewhere up above him. I remember now. Somebody was sitting up on top of Mr. Shiso. Uh, on top of Shiso. Shisho. God. Keep calling him Shiso. 
So trying to recall his master's bloody killer is what spooked Owen originally. The blood that stained the victim's face red came from the person sitting on top of him. The victim was holding a knife, so he likely nicked his attacker as he was fighting back. This means his assailant was injured on their face somewhere. Like the forehead, perhaps? Assuming the victim and his attacker were face to face, then yes. I see. So that is what happened. But if I recall correctly, the accused has a fresh bandage on his forehead, does he not? Ah, fuck. Yeah, he does. On his eyebrow. Bugger. <laughs> Shoot. That injury of Mr. Wetz is conclusive evidence that he committed this murder. <laughs> Why? Oh, it keeps coming back to bite us in the arse. Yeah, it seems you have dug yourself into a pit you cannot crawl out of. Oh, pardon me. <clears throat> Even though I figured out the reason for Owen's out of control emotions, all I did was raise further suspicion against my own client. What do I do now? What do I do? What's the matter? You aren't thinking of throwing in the throwing in the towel, are you? But it looks so bad for Bucky. I mean, he had both motive and opportunity. Plus, he has that injury on his forehead. Your Honor, I sense that the, that the defense is finally ready to let it go and move on. Well, Miss Sykes, I understand that you don't want to give up on your client, but I won't allow to, you to prolong this trial without a good reason. Oh boy. Well, that lawyer did her best, but all the signs point to the defendant's guilt. Maybe it's time she gave up. She tried everything she could. God, you are not helping. I really, really don't want to back down, but... Silence. Thank you, Simon. Athena? Are you having doubts about Bucky's innocence? I wouldn't say that, it's just... Do you remember what you said to Bucky earlier this morning? You mean, you believe me, ma'am? Of course. No matter what, I'll believe in you to the very end. <laughs> Were those just empty words? Of course not. It's just that all the cards are stacked against us. Are you still stuck on that line of thinking? Oh, damn. Motive, opportunity, and an injury to his forehead. Is that all it takes to make you stop believing in your client? Tell me again, who are you, Tabuki? Uh, I'm... I'm his Ms. Jiggity lawyer. Then do your duty and believe in him until the very end. I will. Someone's absolutely right. I'm Bucky's lawyer, and he's depending on me. I was not expecting him to grab us and shake him around. Uh, shake her around. Defense team, please. No fighting in the courtroom. Yeah, we're fine now. The defense is ready to resume, Your Honor. <laughs> Prosecutor Blackwell was just giving me a pep talk. That's all. Thank you, Prosecutor. Hmm. I didn't do it for your sake. I did it for the future of Wet Sober. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I got it. The defense would like to now continue with Owen's therapy session. Hmm. Owen, would you be alright with that? Okay. Um, so somebody was sitting on, up on top of Shisho, bleeding from their head. And smooshing something into Shiso, Shisho's face. That's funny. What it? What is it? I still hear Discord in Owen's voice. But I don't sense any inconsistencies between his statements and his emotions. There don't seem to be any contradictions in his testimony itself, either. Ah, so that's it, huh? Did you figure something out? Your ability to sense emotions is making you focus too much on his feelings, Athena. But there's actually something he's being very vague about in his testimony. If you can clarify what he's feeling uncertain about with some evidence, you should be able to move forward from there. Uh, okay, that makes sense. I'll give it a try. I'll just update the mid matrix with the new information, and then we'll be ready to go. So I just need to present some evidence on what Owen is being vague about, huh? Okay. Do I even have evidence? It's on the floor. Oh god, he looks so stupid. Oh dear. Alright, yeah. Do I have anything? I don't have anything. I could press. Hmm. 
Maybe. Oh, wait, no. I could actually present the crime scene photo and then point into that. Yeah, something smooshing something. So if I present the crime scene report... Objection! It'll probably want me to point out what I'm after, or on about. Let's put a name to this, to the thing Owen's uncertain of, shall we? By identifying the murder weapon that was used to suffocate the victim. Fortunately for us, I spy the murder weapon. Right here in this crime scene photo. Unfortunately for you, I spy nothing of the sort. And the police? Did not spy anything of the sort during their investigation, either. Pray tell, where is this murder weapon you see? You don't see it because it no longer looks the way it did when it was used as a weapon. Ah, there we go. This is what the killer pressed into, the, into Master Tornado's face. The Soba! Noodles. The mystery person that Owen saw pressed Soba into the victim's face, thereby suffocating him. No way! I grow, grow weary of your tasteless jokes. How could anyone commit murder with soft, delicate soba? The noodles would instantly fall apart if they were present in someone's face. Yes, I agree. Well, I disagree. There is a way the soba could have been used to suffocate the victim. What? You will explain your theory at once, Miss Sykes. To kill Master Tornado, the culprit must have smothered him with... Uncut soba dough. Yeah, it would have been the dough. Boom, boom, boom. Balled up soba noodles. Yeah, dough. The culprit must have used the soba before it was cut into noodles. In other words, the murder weapon was raw soba dough. What? My god. One way of killing somebody. Sheesh. Order. Order in the court. Yes, yeah, Sobado could definitely be used to suffocate someone, couldn't it? Are you alright, Prosecutor Sad Marty? I was just letting the soul of the victim know that the accused will finally face justice, thanks to the foolish lawyer before me. Oh. Soba. Doe. What are you talking about? Allow me to summarise your statements. Yep. As the accused was killing the victim, he was slashed in the face by the victim's knife. The weapon he used to suffocate the victim with was the dough in the dressing room. He then disposed of the murder weapon by cutting the soba dough into noodles. Oh god. Why you smarmy? Afterwards, the accused put the victim's face into the bowl of soba, uh, soba noodles, and broth to wash off the blood that had dripped onto the victim's face from his own. And there you have it. The true sequence of events behind this foul affair. Now wait just a minute. I never once said that Mr. Wet was the culprit. Who but the accused knows how to cut dough into noodles, defense? Hmm. That's a very good point, Prosecutor said, Marty. I heard that cutting soba dough into uniform noodles requires considerable training. But then what about the dying message? How do you explain that? The defendant wouldn't have known about Uendo's Owen personality. Perhaps the victim was simply playing with the cards, and they hold no other meaning. Perhaps he spelled Owen's name in jest sometime before his murder. That's true, from Owen's testimony it's clear that Mr. Tornado cared for the boy. Hmm. It appears we've arrived at a compelling conclusion. Taken together, all of these points paint a convincing picture of the defendant's guilt. No, 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 no. Oh, and is there anything else you can tell us? It doesn't matter how small of a detail, anything will do. Ugh, you're scaring me. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, Owen. Auntie Athena didn't mean to raise a voice. I have to be gentler with him. I can't forget he's only five years old. No need to be scared, okay, sweetie? Just tell us anything you can remember. Well, when I woke up, the person who killed Shisho was standing over me, bleeding from their head. Owen, you saw the killer's face? 
Oops, I did it again. <laughs> so who was it, Owen? Do you remember? I... I don't know who it was. I'm picking up some noise. That means there's still something to uncover in Owen's testimony. God damn. I don't know what Owen saw, but suffice it to say, we are analysing the dreams of a child. You've wasted enough of our time, Defence. Let it go and move on. No! There's still discord in Owen's heart that needs to be addressed. Therefore, I can't give in here. Owen, do you think you can, you can continue your testimony for us? Okay. I'll enter the new info and run an update then. Woo! Let's go. I think we're close. It's been three hours though. Hot damn. Wow. 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 So, okay. Shinji had blood on his face and a knife in his hand. Ah. Uh. Oh, look, it actually bounces. <laughs> he was on the floor and somebody was smooshing dough into his face. I couldn't move at all. I was so scared I passed out. And then I woke up. And when I woke up. The person who killed Shisho was standing over me. Why are you happy? That's confusing. <laughs> My master's killer! How do you do? Despite witnessing the culprit's terrible crime firsthand, Owen experienced a positive feeling. One of relief? The person the witness saw was no stranger, rather it was the accused. Therefore, it is only natural that he felt some level of relief when he saw a familiar face. Defense, end this madness and sully your soul no more. Owen, who did you see? That nice smell. I love the smell of that perfume. <sighs> it's Gairu. Oh. It's Gairu. <laughs> okay. It's the smell of... of... something. You can do it. Try to remember, Owen. The smell of... of... Oh, I passed out. It's fine, we know who it is. The only person that smells of perfume. Owen. Damn. So it's Gairu. Gairu? What did I call her? Gairu? G-E-I? Yeah, whatever. Gairu. Seems Owen is now resting in the infirmary. They certainly have their hands full today down there. Let's continue with the trial. Despite Owen's testimony, it is the opinion of this humble servant of the Holy Mother that the child's words were insufficient to clear the accused of suspicion. Wrong. But what about the scent of perfume Owen mentioned? I believe it's a clue that will lead us to the true culprit. Hmm. But there are thousands of perfumes in the world. It could even be the scent of the hair product the accused uses. He does have one amazing hairstyle, so that's certainly possible. Ah. The witness is a five-year-old boy. He cannot tell the difference between conventional perfumes and hair products. Ah, uh, why couldn't you have gone for a crew cut or something, Bucky? What's more, the only person who can cut soba noodles with such precision is the accused, and no other. Oh man, how am I supposed to argue with that? And so, the person Owen saw at the scene of the crime can only be... The accused, Bucky Wet. Wrong. Wait. Who said hold it? Hmm? Uh... What the? Oh, it's Bucky. Hey, hey, hey! I never use hair products or anything with a smell. If I was something like that, the smell would get in the sober. Ah, oh, there we go. Boom, check it. Oh, it's on a skateboard. I was wondering what was happening. Oh! <laughs> uh, Mr. Wet? Aren't you supposed to be resting in the infirmary? Whatever. You think I'd let my, so my sober stink of perfume? Try that child chilled sober for yourself and see. I believe we have no choice but to try it. Strictly for examination purposes, of course. Now then, let's dig in, shall we? God, this has just been a trial of eating. 
slap, slap, slap. No smell. Hmm, that was delightful. Yep. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Well, I'm satisfied that there are no traces of hair products or perfumes in Mr. Wet's Sober. First, sweet bean buns, and now savory sober. What a delectable trial this has been. <laughs> this texture is different from the sober I had the other day. It reminds me of a dish we have in Karine called... Banu Poon. What do you... What... What you think, Ms. Chiggity? My sober's pretty good, isn't it? Mmm, -mm, it's delicious. Don't you think so, Simon? Huh. It still pales in comparison to his late father's cuisine. So, Simon, why are you always going to be so hard on me? Uh. Mm -hmm. May I take the defendant back to the infirmary at once for some rest? <laughs> Peace out. Rest? Hey, I ain't a lump of plain or wheaty of udon dough, you know? I'm fresh like my soba. You don't like soba dough rest. Oh god, it's about the three freshes of soba. Yes, we know. Grind the seeds fresh, cut the dough fresh, and buy the noodles fresh. <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> My god, what has this trial been? Apart from crazy. Jesus. Good grief. What a defendant. At least Bucky wasn't the source of the perfume smell. Wait, smelly perfume? Looks like you remembered something. The phrase smelly perfume reminded me of a certain somebody. Oh, and who might that be? There's only one person that comes to mind. We don't really have many options. The phrase smelly perfume reminded me of this person. Yes, the one the woman with wonderful balloons. Gairu. Gairu Tanida uh, Tanedo. Hmm, yes, she did smell very nice, didn't she? Just a moment, defense. You would throw suspicion on Gairu now because of a scent. Your Honor, there is no need to go along with these ever-changing claims of the defense. Hmm, suppose their claims have been awfully inconsistent. But Gairu could have been at the crime scene. Yes, but... You'll get to see those balloons of hers if we get... Oh my god, if we call her back to the witness stand. How vulgar! His Honor is not interested in such things. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Setting the matter of her balloons aside entirely. I do believe it's appropriate to ask Gairu some questions, given the circumstances. This has nothing to do with her balloons, of course. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, you dirty man. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh my god. So many boob references, Jesus. Thank you for calling this disciple of the Tornado School of Rakugo back for an encore. It's me, the balloon artist you all know and love. Garu Tana uh, Tornado. One, two, but... <laughs> oh god, they wobble. <laughs> yeah, just... Oh god, yep. At least he, he followed it up with what wonderful balloon artistry and not what wonderful balloons. Your Honor, please. Now then, what would you like me to make for you this time? Actually, I called you back for more testimony. But I'm all talked out. This case has left me completely deflated. What? You didn't find that funny? Uh, anyway, what exactly is going on, Simon? It seems the person who murdered Master Tornado is was wearing perfume. And you were the only person I could think of who wears perfume. Wait, you mean I'm a suspect now? Gairu, you knew about Owen, right? Well, yes. I often played with him at Shishiro's request. So that means you could have left that fake dying message, right? What? Just because I wear perfume and no Owen? You think I'm a murderer? Oh, how could you? The witness is absolutely right. With no evidence but the distorted memories of a small child. It is outrageous of the defense to accuse this woman. That's right. You don't even have any proof. You may step down from the stand, Gairu. The defense does... does not have one scrap of evidence that connects you to the crime. Wait just one second. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, one minute is what she said, I think. I may not have proof, but Owen's testimony is still... Enough. Please feel free to leave, Gairu. 
Gairu. Gairu. Gairu. Gairu. I think it's Gairu, not Gairu. But I'm so close, there must be something I can do. Well, if the prosecutor says it's okay, then I guess I'll be going now. Silence. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Simon. You have saved my ass. Oh, <laughs> this again. <laughs> Hi, Gairu. You're an entertainer, aren't you? Once you go on stage, it's your duty to complete your performance, is it not? So what are you doing, leaving halfway through? Is he gonna pop a balloon? <gasps> oh. There's a bandage on Gairu's forehead. And since we know that Master Tornado, uh, Tornado's killer has a cut on their face somewhere... Impossible. How did you know, Simon? Hmm, I didn't. But I had to take a chance and see for myself. Otherwise, your theory would remain a groundless accusation. Oh, yep. That's another double tap. Your Honor, Prosecutor said Marty. The scent of perfume and injury on the forehead. These things are completely consistent with Owen's testimony. In short, the mysterious individual Owen saw in the dressing room could have been Gairu. Miss Sykes. Does this mean you are formally indicting this witness for the murder of Typhoon uh, Tornado? Yeah. Should your accusation prove to be false, I hope you're prepared to pay the price in full. I'm prepared. Don't worry. It's fine. To Simon, what price is he talking about? Uh, you'll die. Hmm. I thought that should be obvious. Prosecutor Sad Monk is saying he'll see to it you never stand in a court of law again. It's quite a gamble. I must say, though, he knows how to make a trial interesting. Just whose side do you want, Simon? Go on, then. Into the deep end with you. You really have but one choice anyway. Well, Miss Sykes, I'm waiting. With regards to the witness, Gyra Tornado, the defense wishes to indict her. We're doing it. We're doing it. There's no reason for me to hold back. Not if I really believe in my client. The defense wishes to formally indict Gyru Tornado for the murder of Typhoon Tornado. <laughs> Damn! I've tried to be merciful, but now not even your pleas will reach the Holy Mother's ears. You'll have plenty of time to regret your decision in the pit of hell. Except I won't need to. The person who murdered the victim was not Mr. Wet. Ooh! It was Gyru Tornado. That bandage is... Just from a silly slip-up I made while cooking yesterday, that's all. What kind of extreme cooking were you doing to cut yourself on the forehead? Well, what can I say? That's what happened. You also don't have an alibi for the period before 4pm, do you, Gyru? But, but, I really didn't know anything was wrong until Shisha was found dead. If you don't believe me, then with a twisty twist twist... Oh god. And Bloon. There you have it, an adorable little kitty. How could you suspect a cutesy whittle balloon artist like me, hmm? Gyro, I've been meaning to say this for a while now, but... Could it be that you don't have an eye for balloon art? Ooh! Don't you think I know that? You didn't have to come out and say it. I'm the daughter of a great Rakugo artist. I never wanted to do stupid balloon art. I was supposed to be a Rakugo storyteller too, just like my late daddy. Oh. But she should have told me to do balloon art instead. I guess the victim thought she had no talent as a Rakugo artist either. So you're still going to suspect a poor little thing like me? Yep. Please stop trying to skirt the issue. It all comes down to the scent of perfume and the cut on your forehead. You and the culprit in you and the culprit in Owen's testimony share these two traits. You're dead set on accusing me, aren't you? Well, here's why here's what I have for naughty little girls like you, with a twisty twist twist. What is it? What the fuck? Oh damn. <laughs> I'ma cut you witch. Go ahead, make me testify all you want. When the truth's revealed, I'll be off to prison. It'll be your balloon or mine that goes pop. Got it? Jesus Christ, he looks like a zero killer. Oh my, is this yet another hidden personality? Simon, is everybody in the tornado school like this? How should I know? Well, Oh wow, okay. Her demeanor's changed entirely. What I did before the murder. I like how it makes a noise. 
Yeah, I visited the dressing room during that time to make a courtesy call uh, after my act. Shisho and Owen were in there, but they were both snoring up a storm. I saw the note Shisho left, so I just left. Didn't want to disturb him, you know. The perfume Owen smelled must have been left over from when I visited. Well, that was quick. Alright. So Gary was saying she went into the dressing room but then left right away. Hmm. Don't take her at a word. Come on, do you really think I would? I'm just trying to figure out how to get her to talk about what really happened. Now then, Miss Sykes, you may proceed with your cross-examination. Let's do it. We're actually, we're in like the last section. It's still a fairly long case. What I did before the murder. Yeah, it'll probably be about just over three and a half hours, I would say. I visited the dressing room during the during that time to make a courtesy call after my act. A courtesy call after your performance, huh? Come to think of it, Yuendo mentioned making the same kind of visit. Yeah, a visit to your master before and after your routine. That's just common courtesy with us Rekugo artists and entertainers. So that means you paid the vi victim a courtesy call before your performance too, right? What did you see at that time? He was having a drink and getting himself into a festive mood. He liked to say that drinking gave him a silver tongue. So he was already drinking by then. Your window wasn't there in the dressing room yet at that time. He must have gone in, gone in there during my act, because when I went back... See, this is what I mean, it, it all flows pretty well. Shisha and Owen were in there, but they were both snoring up a storm. Could you describe how they appeared? They were both stretched out on the floor, snoozing away. So sitting the victim up over and over the table must have been the culprit's doing. After all, who wouldn't stretch out on the floor if they could take a nap? Or if they could too take a nap? Plus that matches up with what Owen said in his testimony. But if he was asleep, how could you tell it was Owen? How did you know it wasn't Yuendo? I've known the guy for ages. One look at his face and I know which one I'm dealing with. I see. I mean, that's fair. They're fairly obvious. I saw the note she showed left, so I just left. Didn't want to disturb him, you know? Okay. Tell me more. Where did you find your master's note? I don't know. Can't remember. Wow. Did you notice anything else unusual? Or out of place in the room? Well, there was the sake and a half-eaten manjo on the table. But I didn't see anything else out of place or whatever in the room, though. Oh, is that a fact? Of course it is. What do you think? You didn't change anything around while you were in there. I didn't do anything. Look, I'm telling you. The cards. I didn't see anything funny near Shisho. I didn't touch anything in the room. Your baldness, I request that the, that, that statement be added to Gyro's testimony. Simon, what's a statement like that going to do for us? Just play along and you'll see soon enough. Ugh. Hmm, I have no problem with adding that to the test 